Okay guys, I'm gonna do another experiment. This is an 11 by 17. It was slightly damaged when I got it. This is just a test canvas. Um, I've got my cloud mix, the thicker one, and I'm going to put it down. There we go. I'm gonna have to figure out how much what the ratios are again because um, I'm really liking this thicker mix for holding cells. See how it's, it's still thin, but it's not as thin. Oh, it looks like I might have to put more on. Yep. Thicker paint, more paint. Yep. Right there, right there. We should be good. So, this I am going to um, try a different technique. It's not it's not the BR Turner flop technique, but it's similar. I'm going to I'm going to call it the splat because I'm going to just throw the paint down onto the canvas <clears throat> in hopes of getting lots of cells and lacing. And I'm still kind of weak on the paint here. Most of it ends up on your um, your mat, eh? Eh? I don't like to waste, so we'll just do that. All right, some same colors as I was using before. There we go. Um, and I'm going to put them in a cup, put the white in between, like I did before. And I'm going to torch this first because I've got lots of bubbles. When I do the splat, we're going to end up with lots of bubbles anyway. So, <clears throat> oh geez, top off would be good. A little bit of white. Not gonna put a lot of paint because it's a small canvas. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. I'm gonna go in the same order. Some of this azo orange mixed with yellow. Then some of the white. And then some of the red. Then some of the white and some of the plum. Some of the white. Should have started with the darker colors on the bottom because that comes out first or comes out on top. <clears throat> All right, guys, <laughs> here goes nothing. Um, it should be fun if nothing else. So I've got this little cup and I'm just going to, whoa, it ended up everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean off my <laughs> my backdrop here. I'm not liking this, so I might tilt that off. It's too pink. Actually, if I take it back, I might get cells. So let's do that. And we'll unsquash the other ones. Kind of cool. All right, I'm going to torch it and let it just sit. I don't even think I'm going to play with it because I just want to see how it reacts. <laughs> Next time, I might just do little splats. That is so cool. I love this one. Oh, there we go. There's some more.
black color. Kind of like that coming in there too. All right, just gonna let it do its thing. <laughs> what a mess all right guys i'm gonna put you on time lapse here you go All right, guys, um, I'm on low battery right now. So this was quite the experiment and I didn't touch it, not even once. I'm liking this. I think I'm gonna call it the splat technique. And I like that these jagged edges come up and look at all of those cells. Holy cow. So I bet you can get this result with metallics or with any kind of paint. And there's a nice contrast right in the center like that. So new technique. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please be safe and create. Ciao for now. Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I'm going to thicken up my mix. So I am putting in the same amount of um, Decorate Satin Enamel. I'm going to give this a little stir. Actually, what's in there is also Satin Enamels, but this is brand new. So let's give it a stir. Make sure everything, all the good stuff from the bottom comes up to the top. We're gonna still stick with the, the four ounces of deco art. And I was doing eight ounces of Artist Loft Flow White. I might do 12 ounces. Um, and then loosen up my water a little bit. Don't put so much water in. So I've got two ounces in there already. That should be four ounces. It is exactly four ounces. Thank you, Home Depot, for these lovely containers. Now, 
since I'm going to be using 12 ounces, I'm gonna to have to bring this up, ooh, Wilbur. So, four, 12, that's, so I'll bring, be bringing it up to 16 ounces, which is this mark right here, one pint. And here we go. Blur, blur, blur. Blur, blur, blur. All right, that should be enough. That's gonna be more than enough. So we mix, 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 mix. Make sure you get the bottom. I always like to mix it up at this point before I put any other additives in. And uh, it's just to get everything incorporated. It's kind of in steps. A lot of people just pour it all in and then do it all at the same time. So these are three ounce cups. I'm gonna put three ounces of GAC and three ounces of Liquitex, or actually one and a half ounces of Liquitex. So three ounces of GAC. And I'm gonna fill this up halfway with the Liquitex pouring medium. Not the gloss medium, the pouring medium. I tried the gloss medium before, it didn't work. It was uh, not good. Either that or I was just having a bad day pouring, but I don't think so. So we have our three ounces of GAC, one and a half ounces of Liquitex pouring medium. And then we're going to ease up on the Floetrol. So I was putting 12 ounces of Floetrol in. I'll be putting eight ounces of Floetrol in. So I'm gonna fill this up. Let me see here. I'm not good at math, I'm a flight attendant. <laughs> so for 16, 16 ounces plus eight ounces is, okay. So we're gonna fill it up to 24 ounces. So we have more paint and more medium in here now. Um, and we're gonna be putting less water and I'm gonna be putting less of the Floetrol, which I just drained because this is too big to pour. So bringing this all the way up to 24. And there it is. And then we're gonna be putting about, well, this is where we're gonna to have to see. I've got eight ounces poured here of water. So we'll have to see, I think I might just do three ounces at a time or an ounce and a half, but I'm gonna get all of this incorporated before I start pouring the water in. Stir, 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 make sure you, make sure your stick is uh, wiped off. Stir, stir, stir. So this is, I'm doing this on camera in case it works <laughs> if it doesn't work um, I guess I'll have to try it on camera again but I just thought if this works I'd better have a record of it so we have four ounces of the deco art we have 12 ounces of the soft body acrylic from artist loft three ounces of GAC one and a half ounces of the, do, 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 where is it? Liquitex pouring medium. And eight ounces of Floetrol. Now we're gonna go, this is three ounces. All right, so this three ounce, we're gonna pour in very slowly. Pour it in slowly so we don't break down the paints. Now 
I gotta remember this is going to be thicker than what I was used to, but not too thick. Still makes no mound when um, bring it off the stick. So I'm figuring maybe six ounces. Yeah, I thought I had it all figured out <laughs> with eight ounces of water, but it does get, it doesn't hold the cell as well. I mean, I have had some good pours and some eh, so I want them all to be good. Well, don't we all? <laughs> yeah. All right, that's the rest of that three ounces. We're still a ways away. And I'm going to do a big 20 by 20. This is 32 ounces. This will be 32 ounces, I'm thinking. Let me see, 24 plus, oh, we have to do math again, plus six. That's only 30 ounces. Meeks, meeks, meeks. Boring, boring, boring. But it's important to get that consistency right. Yeah, it's way too thick still. Just a little bit more, a little bit at a time. You know, when I first started this journey with the uh, cloud pour, I mixed up my paints and I didn't put the water in until I was ready to use it. I'm wondering if I should go back to that kind of process. Yeah, it's still making a mound. Mm -hmm. So what I might do with this is test it because I do want to do some metallics with this new um, technique. Um, and it's getting close. I don't know about you guys. Do you ever notice that Floetrol has been sitting in a while? It starts to stink like really bad. Um, and I've noticed that with my paint drippings. You know, I went, I go to to pour them on onto a nice painting and it's like whoo geez louise still a little bit of a trace okay so that's six ounces starting to rain in. This is a three ounce cup. I've already used of the eight ounces. Oh, why does it say that? Oh, maybe it was only six ounces I had in here. I've already used three ounces or five ounces. No, that can't be possible. No, I've used six. Duh, that makes sense. Don't ask me to do math. Not good. Okay, so that's an ounce and a half. So we have six in there right now. This, all right, they're about the same. Yep, right on. Usually it comes right up to the top and um, this is just shy of the top. So I think I'm good. All right. 
Now, let's see if it works. I'll be back in a little while after I've set up and decided what direction I want to go into because I think I need to mix up some paints because I want to try this with a lot of metallics to see if it works. Ciao for now. See you in a few. Oh, and I usually put this right in here, which is my milk bottle because it reminds me of milk, the consistency. Just pour it right in. There we go. And these milk bottles are available on Amazon. I do not have an Amazon affiliate yet. <laughs> so um, I will put a link for it in the description. I find them really easy to clean. I'm going to let this drip into this for a while because I don't like to waste. And um, I'll be back guys. All right, guys, side note. This was filled up to eight ounces. There are two ounces left. So there are six ounces of water in there, exactly. I don't care what those little Dixie cups say. Um, there is six ounces of water. So that's exactly six ounces. Just wanted to clear that up.